you mentioned judo mm -hmm. there. You, you used to to be a <laughs> big part in judo, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Well, I broke my arm twice when I was really young, and then my doctor said that I should do that because I needed to learn how to fall. <laughs> so then I did it for <laughs> one year, and then I stopped because I didn't really like it, and I wanted to go to track and field, but I was too young at first. But now it's. I don't know how it got there, but all of a sudden I saw it at some things and I was like, what? <laughs> I was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So am I right in thinking you got, you got into uh, track and field? Your brother took part and it sort of you, you went along with him, is that, is that right? Yeah, he's four and a half years older and I saw my dad bring him to the track and to the woods to have trainings and then when I was finally old enough I also really wanted to do it and then uh, I started to do it I think when I was seven or eight years old just everything and then you just at one point try to specialize a bit <laughs> yeah yeah so what is it you um you enjoy about the sport what it, what was it that sort of made you think um yeah I, I like this I'd like to 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 do more of this uh well i had a really like my friend group was also part of my track and field team when i was younger but at one point like they all start to get injured a bit or they started to party a bit more so that went away a bit but i just i really love running it was always a way to just clear your mind and just have fun and not think too much about all the things happening and yeah, just do what you like and that's still what I like so much about it. I really, I have my sessions I like more and I like less, but I enjoy every session and mostly the lactic sessions because then it's, you really clear your mind. The only thing you can think about is the pain <laughs> <laughs> and how you want to recover. But I just love how you really can mentally challenge yourself so much in the sport and just let go of everything a bit by running and clearing your mind. There are not many athletes I can think of that would say they really like the lactic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. It's something in me that really likes it. And Leia and I, and we are really the opposite. When I'm like, oh yeah, oh, it's a really nice dish. She's like, oh no, I hate it. And it's also the other way around. <laughs> so it's funny, but yeah, I just, I really like to challenge yourself with the lactic. I don't know, just to try to push through it. And like this indoor season, I really learned when I think I can't anymore, I can still do it 200 in an okay time. And yeah, you can really, you push yourself to things you couldn't think that your body could handle with the lactic and then you can still handle it. And I just really like that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I guess if, if you're pushing yourself that way, that's when you find out what new levels you could potentially get to, I guess. Yeah, and I think when I was younger, Ram would say like, yeah, you don't push yourself enough and I was always a bit like no I do it and I really try to go as fast as possible but I was a bit scared of the lactic then and now I think last year but also yeah this inner season I really learned like okay you can think that you can't and then you can again and it's really nice when you see yourself that mentally and physically that you break a bit those limits for yourself and go to a higher level and that I then also see that of course in my results, that's amazing.